I was in a precarious situation. My Spiffo's burger joint was overwhelmed with the zombies. One of us had to go. It was either me or them. My story begins in an office building. This is an unusual start as I usually start off in a home. I wasn't complaining though, this office building had a ton of kitchens and a lot of burger. I would be enjoying the riveting gameplay of flipping burgers in no time at all. Oh nice, this place is stacked on burgers. Oh awesome, cleaver. Burger flippers haven't increased to a short blade, so this will be a great starting weapon. My character would not be spending any time reading books or watching TV. That was nerd stuff. My character was an athletic, strong burger flipper. His talents would be wasted sitting around inside a house all day. Alright, finally on the main floor. Now I can look around, head outside. After descending several floors, I made my way outside the office building to see what else this spawn held for me. The zombies were a given, but there was something else that caught my eye. A Spiffo's burger joint. I had found a place to start cooking my burgers. Oh, my colleagues aren't very friendly. Before I could make any burgers though, I needed to kill a few zombies. Well, a lot of zombies. Before I even set foot in the Spiffos, I had already served over 30 customers. This day was starting off great. I gotta remove all this glass, because I have a bad habit of cutting myself up by jumping through windows. Before I could start cooking, I needed a clean up. I was rudely interrupted by an impatient customer. Alright, let's head outside. No blood in the kitchen. Zombies are so slow. Oh, there goes my cleaver. Alright, back to work. Now that I was all clean, it was time to cook some burgers. At Spiffo's, we just toss the burgers in the oven to cook. It's faster, easier, and tastier. Alright, looks like those are cooking up pretty good. With my burgers done, I set them out to cool. I couldn't resist though, and I ate one. With my day's work done and a full stomach, I headed out to explore my surroundings. The first thing I need to do is go find that zombie that has been banging on this door for like the last 10 minutes. He's driving me insane. I found a lot of zombies. Escaping an ambush, I lost my hat. I would need to go back and get it once I was in a safer position. Okay, too many zombies.
Jesus Christ. After running around a while, I was exhausted, so I headed back to the Spiffos for a short break. After catching my breath, I made it back to the staircase and retrieved my hat. My uniform was complete again. The zombies were everywhere, and after killing many, I ended up getting lacerated. I was exhausted, tired, and injured. I needed a place to sleep, but I needed to lure away the zombies first. I took the zombies into the office building to try and lose them. Instead, I just ran to the top and hid out in a back office for a bit before drifting off to sleep on the couch. I woke up to a new day. I noticed around this time that I had lost my hat again and thought maybe I lost it somewhere in the building. I didn't, but I did waste a lot of time looking around for it as I cleared my way back down to the ground floor. I'm pretty sure my hat's somewhere around here. The second day was feeling very similar to the first, running around in a circle trying to kill zombies. I was getting overwhelmed. More and more zombies were flooding into the area. I was a loud, clumsy burger flipper, and had made the Spiffos a very unsafe place to be. I knew of another Spiffos on the edge of town, so I headed off on a jog through the city. After running for what felt like forever, I had found the end of the town. I had overshot the Spiffos a bit, and would circle back through the forest. It was very safe and zombie-free, but also really annoying because the trees had completely overgrown the area. This is the world environmentalists want, and it's hell. After a while of creeping through the forest, I was back in the city. I made my way down the road towards the Spiffos. All right, I think I found the Spiffos. I found a Spiffos. It was much smaller than I expected and figured I was at the wrong one. I needed to head a bit more south. Okay, I found the real Spiffos this time. After a short journey down the road, I had arrived at a nice, full-sized Spiffo's restaurant. Unfortunately, the manager appeared to be a zombie now, and he left a note saying I was fired for losing my hat. Oh well, maybe there isn't much of a need for a burger flipper in a zombie-infested world after all. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe.